Hello, my fellow massage therapists. I'm Isabel Spradlin of YourMassagePractice.com. This short video is in support of the Own Your Practice program, my NCBTMB approved practice building program. It's comprehensive, it's awesome. I love all of my students in it. If you're interested in really digging into building your own private practice, I hope you'll head over to the website and check it out. I would love to see your application. Let's talk about pricing. And before we get started, I just want to show you where I'm at and how I talk about pricing. I know there's this big saying out there, charge what you're worth. I think that every human being, including you, including me, including everybody, is priceless. I am not interested in teaching you how to put a price on yourself, on your humanity. What I am interested in talking to you about and teaching you is how to price your services in a way that makes sure that you have a thriving long-term business that really serves your needs in your personal and professional life. So let's dig into that. I want you to get a sheet of paper and draw a line down the center of it. On the left-hand column, I want you to write down your desired profit. So it might take you a little bit to figure out what that actually is. On the right-hand column, we need to figure out the four things that will help you actually uh, put a really stable price onto your services. Number one, you need to know your fixed costs, which means every predictable expense for every month that you are in business. Number two, you need to know the market that you're in. This can be very easy. Just do a website on massage therapists in your area, find out what the low end is, find out what the high end is, figure out that spectrum. Number three, and this is where things can start to get a little bit potentially wishy-washy because we're talking about your experience. How much experience do you have? Whatever your sort of niche is, or maybe you have a broad spectrum of services that you offer, whatever that is, figure out how much you can talk about. I've been practicing this for X amount of time. Not I've been to this workshop and learned this, but I've actually been doing this work for this amount of time. So you need to figure out your experience and then you need to take a cold hard look at your outcomes. Are you actually able to help your clients achieve what they are coming to you for? So if you bill yourself as an injury recovery specialist, do your clients actually get relief from their injuries? Do they get quicker recovery? If you bill yourself in the relaxation or stress reduction realm, do your clients consistently report to you, wow, I just feel so much more at home in my body, I feel less stressed, I feel calmer, whatever that might look like or sound like, do you have the testimonials to back this up? If you need to ask for those testimonials, now is the time to start doing that, but we want to be able to show our outcomes. Once you have those four things in your right-hand column, then you're going to look at both columns and you are going to take that matrix of things and set your prices based on where you fall in all of these spectrums. So it can feel a little bit wishy-washy, but it's also probably a little more specific than you might have thought from the beginning. Okay, so I hope this helps to clear your head and give you some solid ground on which to build the pricing of your services. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And between now and then, I hope you'll head over to the website and check out the Own Your Practice program. Okay, 